Hey, welcome to a new video. In this video, we have a new CSS feature and it is really cool. You will learn in this video. It is called Parent Selector. I have been waiting for this feature for a long time and I know a lot of people did. So it is very useful. Let's check it out in a real example. Here I have this document and inside this document, just a basic buttons that I have. There is two button. One has SVG inside, the other one does not have. Let's say one download now and download later. If you check it out, this is the basic design. Nothing fancy, just the basic CSS. Now here is the thing. What if I want to select the first button that has SVG, not the first button, overall, like the buttons that has SVG inside of it. In the past, it was not possible, but now with the help of parent selector, it is possible. So uh, the only thing that you have to remember is at the time of this recording, it is only supported on latest version of Safari. So if you go to kanaus.com and search for this sudo as selector it says like only the latest version of safari will support it so uh, what i'm going to do is instead of chrome i will come to safari and this is how the button will look like now let's check it out how we can select this button with the svg if you come here you just say button that has svg how cool is that it is similar to not but this one is checking for if it has now let's check and give it a background of red as an example I will save it and see how it works. If I go to Safari, refresh it, now it picked the first one. The good thing is, this is just a basic example. In real world, you will use a much more complex thing. In the past, it was not possible. If you haven't faced this issue in the past, it means you didn't write a lot of code. So it is very useful to, uh, to have this has a sudo selector now. The other thing you have to know is like inside of this, you can have uh, more options. For example, you want to check if the SVG is directly inside the button. This is how you do. If you save it, let's come here, refresh it, it works. But if you come here and put this SVG inside a span tag, for example, now this is, uh, SVG is not direct child of the button and this should not select it. If you refresh it, it is not selecting. Now, the other thing you have to note is, okay, I'm going to remove this. Now it should select all the SVG inside the button. Uh, not SVG, of course, all the button that have SVG inside. Now, if you check it in Chrome, it does not work at all because it does not support it. So if you don't have Safari, you have to wait for it for uh, a little while until it is available. If you refresh it, now it works just fine. It is one of the coolest feature and I really like like this feature. I hope soon it comes to other browsers also. I hope this video has been informative. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.